go. This is the return of the football. Uprising, brother and sister, I am Brother Spence here on a so called Tuesday, August the 31st, 2021. The last so called day of the so called month of August of so called 2021. <clears throat> We're about to approach the seventh month. Gregorically speaking, through September, the ninth month of our usual Gregorian calendars. Yes, <clears throat> with the seventh month, that is the seventh Hebraic month called Tishrei, approaching the Mohadim. Would we say Mohadim in the Hebrew, the fall feasts? Coming Rosh Hashanah, Ras, Rosh. We see that that parallel connection with the Hebrew and the Ethiopic where that Rolam Hark tongue, you know, Ras, Rosh, the head of the new year, <clears throat> which is close, usually with the lunar cycles of the Hebraic month. We have the Ethiopic solar cycles. So we have so-called September 11th, the Ethiopian New Year. As we, as many of I and I say, <clears throat> Malcolm Adisa Samet, that you know, Happy New Year, and the Amharic, as well as the Hebrew, Rosh Hashanah, the same time, <clears throat> the solar and the lunar cycles. The wheels, within the wheels, right? And a moment of silence for the legendary Lee Scratch Perry, the legendary Lee Scratch Perry, the pioneer, one of the many pioneers of original reggae dub music, and even a major component of roots reggae music, who helped bring that original sound to the infamous Bob Marley the great legend himself, a musical prophet. Lee Perry was also, and is also, a musical prophet and a genius. And I heard about the sad news um, a couple days ago, as most of us did, on so-called Sunday, the first day of this new week. I was busy. My lady Pam and I were busy with her family and running errands and, and we had uh, a couple of brethren and a couple of friends stop by to play music and hang out and enjoy the goodness of life. But here I am back in the grind. I had to work until midnight last night on the so-called Monday evening and come back. A lady passed out on the couch. She gets up, she goes to bed. And the spirit came over me, you know, that, that spirit came over me through the Ruach HaKodesh, that true Holy Spirit, that set apart spirit. And as we say in the Ethiopic or 
that Roland Hart tongue, the Mumphis Caduce, the set apart spirit with the Irit within, the Sai, that Irit within, led me to turn on a couple of YouTube channels. No, actually, as a matter of fact, I wasn't even on YouTube. Scratch that. <clears throat> I was on some kind of Netflix or Amazon. <clears throat> I typed in Lee Perry search. Scratch Paris. And from many of you Beastie Boys fans from the era of old school rap and hip hop and you know alternative rock and punk rock and jazz. Fellow Beastie Boys fans, remember the Hello Nasty album that came out back in the late nineties that had a track with Brother Lee Scratch. Lee Perry was on one of the tracks of the Beastie Boys. Uh, Lee Perry, right next to Adam, uh, right next to the infamous Adam Yacht, MCA, rest in peace. Yes, I. Lee Perry is a musical genius, a true musical genius. Name of Jesus Christ, the Nazareth, the Lord, Anyways, let us proceed with the continuation of what is now last week's Torah portion reading. We did actually get the actual Torah portion read on Shabbat, on the true seven-day Sabbath, this past uh, so-called Saturday afternoon. I was very thankful. I still am very grateful that I got that read within the week <clears throat> to say this week's Torah portion. But here we are, Tuesday. Been busy. You know how life is. Anyways, rest in power and big respect the great legend, Lee Scratch Perry, the great uh, musical genius, Lee Perry, who has been a lifetime inspiration for me and always will be. Um, so <clears throat> we do know that uh, Lee Perry lived a good life. He died or passed on to be with the ancestors at the age of 85. A fairly good lifespan. It's blessed. God bless. Anyways, yeah, I was vibing out to Lee Perry last night. So, almost two o'clock in the morning, burning the ancients in that meditation. Yeah, I felt good about that. Got to connect with the brother and spirits, the irates, the Sai, the Ruach Kakodesh. Let us continue in last week's Torah portion of the Half Torah continuation of that Half Torah portion in the prophet Yeshiahu, better known as the prophet Isaiah, chapter 60, beginning in verse 1. Let us begin. Grab your Bibles, your Tanakhs. Let us go to Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 1. All right, Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 1. Arise, thus saith the Most High, Yahuwah, or Yahweh, Jehovah, say, thus saith the Most High, Jah. And we say, for newcomers, newcoming Christians and newcoming agnostics or whatever, or people of other religions and cultures or lack of, even atheists, fellow Buddhists, fellow Muslims, fellow true Christians, Orthodox Christians, Fellow Rasta brethren, sister, um, my fellow Israelite brethren and sister that know about these things. I'm kind of reaching out to newcomers in these uh, recent videos. 
if you go in depth to my history of videos on my YouTube page, you will find more in depth about certain subject matters. But here we got the trusty squirrel mug, a little squirrel coffee mug, and somebody is calling me. Looks like it might be sales. Satanic distractions. Yes, I. Satanic distractions. When you try to get into the word in this great book of life, through Jah word, through Hashem's word. But with that being said, <clears throat> to you uh, fellow uh, newcomers and well-meaning Christians of any denomination, even outside of Orthodox Christianity, whether you come from Protestantism, <clears throat> Catholicism, through any genuine basic good news gospel of what they, we, and the world call Jesus Christ. In his true Hebrew name, it is Yahshua. We also say Jesus Christ or Jesus Christos, speaking of Messiah and the first advent as our Lord and Savior. That atonement we have <clears throat> and Hashem's grace. We say Hashem, meaning the name. In the Hebrew, Hashem means the name. Speaking of the sacred name of our Heavenly Father, the Most High, Yahuwah or Jehovah. Some pronounce Yahweh or Yahweh. Some pronounce Yahweh or they speak of the I Am, Ahaya or Ehia, Asher Ehia, I Am that I Am. But the divine name of I Am revealed to the great prophet Moshe, or the great prophet Moses. He who be who we be. He who be who we be in Yahweh or Yahuwah, Jehovah, the Father, our Elohim, Almighty God and the angels. Yes, the Elohim or the Elohim, as we say in more the ancient Paleo Hebrew, is is plural. It's Almighty God and the angels, one Elohim, <clears throat> one God. So Anyways, thus saith the Most High, Yahuwah, or Jehovah. Many of your Bible translations, to you newcomers out there, Christians, many of your translations into English will say, The Lord, that is capital L-O-R-D, the Lord, your God, is Hashem, your Elohim. The Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh, your Elohim, the Lord, your God. Thus saith the Lord your God, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the esteem of Hashem has risen upon you. The esteem of the name Yahuwah has risen upon you. Verse 2, For look, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness the peoples, but Hashem arises over you. The Most High Jah arises over you, and his esteem is seen upon you. Boss with the cause, one second. My own personal commentary, which is a proper interpretation, influenced by the Holy Spirit, that uh, Ruach Kakodesh, Hashem Yeshua, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son, says his esteem is seen. Upon you, and upon I and I, and we, collectively, as that true core body of Messiah, which is that true, original, core body of Christ, the true body of Christ, or Christos, the anointed, who is Messiah, we say, both in the first and second advent, as the one true king of kings, that new name, that precious name, Yesai, for those other types of fellow Israelites, <clears throat> both ethnic and spiritually adopted Israelites, as myself, from other nations, grafted in through the Jah life tree, through the King of Kings in Christ, who are other types of 
Toad Israelites and Beit Christian, the title, Rasta Farai, fellow Christian, Rasta brother and sister, also tuning in. Um, <clears throat> these video lectures are, are not just for one particular group of people or labels of people, you know, fellow Muslims, Rastas, Israelites, Christians, Buddhists, <clears throat> we all are one. But for whatever reason, even with all that being said, ones have a a stony heart and a stubborn mind or a rebellious mind towards Jah Truth in this great book of life, then <clears throat> that's fine. For whatever reason. And stop the video, you know, turn off the video and go watch something else. <clears throat> go watch some soap operas or whatever. Um You'll catch up on your, your, your sports highlights. I love sports. I have my teams within baseball, professional football, basketball, college football. <clears throat> I dabble with sports, but you have people that that's all they do. You don't spend any time in meditation in this great book of life, in this fulfilled tour of life. All right, so let's go back to Isaiah, with the prophet Yeshiahu, verse 3. Of the, the true temple is the body, the body of Messiah, but that true core body of Christ is I and I and we, the people, spiritually and metaphysically. Verse 3, and the nations shall come to your light and sovereigns and kings to the brightness of your rising. You rise up in faith, rise up in spirit in these last of last days of judgment. Nothing wrong with the little sports and other hobbies and, and things in moderation. Moderation is the key when it comes to true faith and discipline, that self-discipline, even knowledge of self, as well as, yes, as well as that knowledge of Elohim, the Messiah, but to his majesty, the King of Kings and Christ. So the nations shall come to your light. You see the light within I and I, the sovereigns or the kings to the brightness of your rising. Verse four, lift up your eyes all around and see. All of them have gathered. They have come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters are supported on the side. Verse five, then you shall see and be bright and your heart shall throb and swell for the wealth of the sea is turned to you. The riches of the nations come to you. A stream of camels cover your land. The dromedaries of Median, or Midian, and Apha, all those from Sheba come, bearing gold and incense, and proclaiming the praises of Hashem, the praises of the Most High Yahuwah, or Yahweh Elohim, the Sustainer, Ixiavihe, proclaiming the praises of Hashem. For the Lord. Verse 7. All the flocks of Kedar are gathered to you. The rams of Nebaoth, of Nebaoth serve you, and they come up for acceptance on my slaughter place. And I embellish my esteemed house. Verse 8. Who are these who fly like a cloud and like doves to their windows? A symbol of peace, a symbol of the dove. Come in peace. Verse 9. Because of the coastlands wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish first, to bring your sons from afar, their silver and their gold with them, <clears throat> to the name, to that Shem of the name Yahweh, or Yahweh, your Elohim, to the name of the Most High, Yahweh, Jah, your God, to the set-apart one of Israel, because he has adorned you. Verse 10, and the sons of foreigners shall build your walls and their sovereigns, their kings serve you. For in my wrath, I have stricken you, but in my delight, I shall have compassion on you. Verse 11, and your gates shall be open continually. They are not shut day or night to bring to you the wealth of the nations and their sovereigns in procession. Verse 12, for the nation and the rain that do not serve you shall perish, and those nations shall be utterly laid waste. That tough love 
of judgment. In these last of last days, we see taking place, we all see take place now, fulfillment of prophecy. As Babylon crumbles. Babylon continues to fall, but in its desperation, in its wickedness, in its stubbornness, in its selfishness, and, 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 and abominations, crumbles, continues to collapse. But yes, in their desperations, they do everything at us to keep us in this illusion, in this matrix, under their mind control, which is their sorcery, their witchcraft, in connection with their idolatry of uh, false gods, not the true living Almighty One, as our Heavenly Father, our Elohim, especially in Christ, the Messiah, not Antichrist Jesus, but the true Christ Jesus, or Christ Jesus, whose name is Yeshua, or Yahushua, and Yahweh salvation, Jehovah is salvation, translated to Jesus, or Jesus, the Christ, our Lord and Savior. Yes, even more so through, even more so through Christ, my fellow newcoming Christian, potential true Christian brothers and sisters who are scratching the surface and seeking. Let's go back to these scriptures. Because these scriptures, these prophecies, are multidimensional, as I like to say. It's true. Check it out. It says, <clears throat> you know, for the nation and the reign that do not serve you shall perish, and those other nations shall be utterly laid waste. Verse 13, the esteem of Lebanon shall come to you, cypress pine and the box tree together to embellish the place of my set-apart place, and I shall make the place of my feet esteemed. Hallelujah. Verse 14. And the sons of those who afflicted you come bowing to you. Wow. And all those who despised you shall bow themselves at the soles of your feet, and they shall call you. They shall call you City of Hashem, Sion, or Zion, of the set apart one of Israel. Yes. Verse 15. Instead of you being forsaken and hated, so that no one passes through you, I shall make you an everlasting excellence, a joy of many generations. Verse 16. And you shall suck the milk of the nations, and shall suckle the breast of sovereigns, the breast of kings. From other nations symbolically metaphorically speaking spiritually speaking you shall know that I Hashem the name Yahuwah your Savior and your Redeemer I am the mighty one of Yaakov the mighty one of Jacob whose name is changed to Yasharal or Israel that lineage through the great prophet Abraham or Abraham through Isaac and Jacob to Israel. That seed, both that the physical seed of lineage and of I and I of other nations, see other so called races or nationalities, but other nations grafted in as wild branches through Hashem's love, through Almighty God's grace. In Christ Jesus. Yes, the Christians the Christians were waiting for that one. In Christ Jesus, whose name is Yeshua, our Lord and Savior. Of course, of course. There is no atonement without the new temple, right? We talk about the new temple being built, and that's good. That's a good thing. Hallelujah. We can talk about that for days and days and nights. But at the same time, when it comes down to this present time, see, we are the temple of Messiah. So keep that in mind. Uh, it says, Thus saith the Most High, Yahuwah. The Most High, Jah, says, I am the Mighty One of Yaakov. Verse 17. Instead of bronze, I bring gold. Instead of iron, I bring silver. And bronze, instead of wood. And iron, instead of stones. And I shall make your officers peace, 
and your magistrates righteousness. Verse 18. Violence shall no longer be heard in your land, neither wasting nor ruin within your borders. And you shall call your walls deliverance and your gates praise. Alleluia. Verse 19. No longer is the sun your light by day, nor does the moon give light to you for brightness, but Hashem, the Lord himself. But Hashem shall be to you an everlasting light, and your Elohim, or your God, your comeliness. Verse 20, no longer does your sun go down. New season has come. No longer does your sun go down, nor your moon withdraw itself. For Hashem shall be your everlasting light, and the days of your mourning shall be ended. Laduya. Verse 21. And your people, all of them righteous, shall, shall inherit the earth forever. This is your people, all of them righteous, shall inherit the earth forever. A branch. The branches, or Nazareth, as we say in the Hebrew. <clears throat> Nazareth. The hometown of which Yeshua, the Messiah, our Lord and Savior, came in the first advent you know, from Nazareth. And your people, all of them righteous, shall inherit the earth forever, the new heaven upon earth, the new Zion upon earth, a branch of my planting, a work of my hands to be adorned. The little shall become a thousand, and the small one a strong nation. I, Hashem, shall hasten it in its time. I, the Lord, Yahweh, or Yahweh, Elohim, shall hasten it in its time. Amen. So, despite the suffering we've read about in the actual Torah portion reading from this past week, the actual Torah portion study regarding uh, Deuteronomy, no, or Deborim chapter 28, the blessings for obedience, the curses for disobedience. That particular chapter, or those verses and those scriptures in that chapter of Deuteronomy 28 are not as multidimensional. They are, at the same time, spiritually. This is a spiritual book that applies to all of us, called to be through Jah Kingdom, through God's grace, in Messiah, through Jesus Christ. Of course. But when we see through the persecution, or despite the, the persecution, despite well, blowing up, despite the persecution that the sea people, according to lineage, identified today as so called African Americans, <clears throat> identified today as so called black people in the West Indies. You know, so-called so African slaves and African Israelite slaves taken to the West Indies and the Caribbean, other parts of North America that we call African Americans, parts of South America, of the Southern Tribe or the Southern Kingdom, that is the anointed tribes of Judah or Yehuda and Levi and Benjamin in the West Indies. We have your African-American so-called black people, um, so-called African slaves identified with many people today as, as ethnic Yehuda or Judah. And with the, the African Holocaust, there may have been and there was different types of Africans, some of Shemitic and uh, Hamitic origin, even some original descendants of Ishmael, as well as uh, Isaac and Jacob. You know, so we have indigenous tribes, different types of indigenous tribes and peoples that have integrated through time. While we can't get caught up in you know, tribalism, too much on skin tone, because you know, skin color, or so-called race or gender, Asatan, or Satan himself, loves to creep in and create tribalism, division. It says, there will be, an, a, there will be a redemption of the sea people of that remnant who repent, who truly confess and repent of their sins, and let Hashem's grace, or let Jah's grace cleanse them through the precious blood of the covenant, Bahasham Yeshua HaMashiach, the name of Jesus Christ, 
the fulfillment of the Torah and the prophets. They let it cleanse their spirits and, and, and they turn back to their heritage as true fulfilled African Hebrew Israelites of that remnant according to lineage and of the heart. See, Benjamin or Benjamin takes the lead amongst the 12 tribes, amongst, amongst the 12 tribes of Israel, of ethnic Israel. We see that rise of the Benjamites, so-called African Israelites in the West Indies and in Jamaica. We see that rise of the Rastafari movement and its origin, the calling. We see that in these last of last days. Psalm or Tehillim, chapter 68, verse 27. There is the little tribe of Benjamin, of Benjamin, the, the little brother, Benjamin, the favorite uh, sibling amongst the great prophet Joseph or Yosef, amongst the sons of Jacob. There is the little tribe of Benjamin leading them. There the great throng of Judah's princes, and there the princes of Zebulun and Naphtali, the tribes. So the Most High, Yahuwah, or the Most High Jah, uses the remnant seed and spiritual seed of Benjamin or Benjamin that we have identified today as other African Israelite slaves, ethnic African Israelite slaves brought on slave ships, and that uh, reigns of white supremacy, the evils of white supremacy, and colonialism in the West Indies and different islands throughout Haiti, identified with many Levites, <clears throat> with Jamaica, identified with many uh, Benjamites, the tribe of Benjamin. We see that rise of the Rastafari movements, even ones, even ones like the great legend Lee Perry, Shalom, that. It's a big part of that musically, as far as the prophetical music of the movement. But it originated in Ethiopia, in the heartland of Mother Africa, in the source. It originated from Judeo-Christian Ethiopia, that monarchy of, of King David, from ancient to Jerusalem, ancient and modern day Jerusalem to Ethiopia, the true African Sion, or African Zion, upon earth. We see fulfillment of prophecy. We see the remnants according to the sea, first to the ethnic Israelite, Romans chapter one, then to the ethnic <clears throat> or the ethnic Israelites who are faithful of the Yahudim, and not just of Judah, but all tribes, and of the righteous Gentiles, then to the Greek, then to the Gentile, <clears throat> then to other nations, to the Anglo Saxon and the Asian and so one love vibration, but there is a proper kingdom order first of that remnant of the sea people. We also look at uh, the other Yahudim. What more people know today is more of the uh, more of the popular mainstream Eurocentric Jewish people. All due respect, and we see what their ancestors have gone through and still go through that turbulence. Dealing, and dealing with the same evils of, or the same wickedness that, that comes from white supremacy and these powers that be. <clears throat> the globe, let's face it, the globalists today, these so-called globalists and elite powers and Satanists have always brought up these regimes, even Adolf Hitler and the Nazis, the hands of not just white supremacy, but any kind of supremacy of any evil man or woman of any color. Who are Satanists, <clears throat> like Bahana Selassie said, you know that Lee Perry helped introduce and, and, and really Lee Perry said that he gave Bob Marley a reggae as a present through his works as a musical genius, <clears throat> as a dub pioneer to roots music and roots reggae music and reggae dub music. Lee Perry gave that ultimate gift to Bob Marley as a gift. So here, you know, um, we have a musical genius who, you know, I'm watching him on stage from 2007 somewhere, and <clears throat> he's chanting, and people see the way he's dressed, you know, like a madman, but he's, he's saying, hey, <clears throat> wash yourselves, 
Let yourself be cleansed through Jesus Christ. Of course, he also has a garment with his majesty, Haile Selassie, the king of kings. They have, he has a big garment and a jacket with a picture of Haile Selassie upon the white horse. He's got his bling bling and his hat with all the pins and buttons and lights. You know, and of course, once again, the, the original rise of the regeneration of Rastafari, which has influenced all people of all spiritual walks, you know, genuine Christians outside of Orthodox Christianity, um, genuine Muslims and fellow Yahudim and Jews and atheists and uh, people from all walks of life. People from all walks of life love to hear Lee Perry's music, you know, and it's just a beautiful thing and you know, we he's right we do have to cleanse ourselves through just grace and justice christ the messiah but sin is bad he said with all his garments and his hat his ball cap full of buttons and lights he said sin is bad we have to cast away the sin you know be cleansed of our sin sin is bad Wash yourself through just grace, the blood of Jesus Christ. Wow, very very spiritual man. He was a true Rasta. A fellow bald head Rasta that wasn't caught up on the Nazarite dreadlock vow. All due respect. He had he had punky, different colored hair. Sometimes he had the bright green hair and the, the bright red hair and the pink hair and he had all his earrings with ox and crosses and you know, um, Many people thought he was mad, but so what? Many people think that we're mad. They think we're crazy. You know, well, he's, Brother Spence is kind of weird. Why is he always doing videos talking about the Bible, reading from his Bible, and talking about reading the Torah portion study? Why is he so mad? What's, what's possessed Brother Spence? I've known John Spence since back in elementary school or high school or shortly after high school. He was a different person. He's weird. I mean, yeah, he's still cool, and he's a good dude, but he's just kind of whatever. And uh, so <clears throat> I guess we're all madmen in contrast to this world system, this whole wicked Babylon system. Anyway, so you have the seed, that remnants, but you also have not just the physical seed, but you have the spiritual seed grafted in. So even trials and tribulations that we go through in Messiah, through Christ, regardless of the boundaries of so-called skin color or race or gender, Jew or Gentile, according to flesh, we're called to be through God's grace, God's grace in Messiah, through the tribe of Judah. Well, Ambessas and the Gedi Yehuda, the film of the prophecy, says, we are connected to Israel as spiritual Israel. And with that, that seed or that physical seed of flesh and blood, who is also born again and has to be regrafted back into their own roots, where the branches grafted into the roots. So <clears throat> we must take pride, a righteous pride, in who we are spiritually through Messiah, or through Christ. However, there's a point we have to be humble. <clears throat> but yeah, we look at what happened to the just just think for a minute and look what happened to the other Jews. We know is the Jewish people, the Holocaust. There's always been some kind of satanic opposition. To kill off the sea people. Now some of them may be converts. And not all of the original ethnic sea. As the Falashas. The Ethiopian Jews. And many so called African peoples over here. In the, the Americas. And the West Indies. And this Western Hemisphere. We also have many Hispanics. And Native Indians. That have been identified. With the Northern Kingdom. Of ethnic Israelites. That have integrated with other indigenous peoples, of course, but still, that seed remains. So there's people waking up from the far ends of the earth. We have the remnant seed, first to the ethnic Jew, then to the Gentile of the nations, to be of Judah, of spiritual Israel, which is the body of Christ. Don't you know? So we, we've, been, we've all been denied our spiritual inheritance or identity to some degree, even, even those of us Gentiles. But we just use the name Christian. Well, I'm a Christian. 
I was brought up Christian, and that's good. That's a good thing, because Christian is Christ man, or little Christ. We're called to be in the divine image of the Most High and the angels. But if you call yourself a Christian in the Sanskrit, be a true Christian. Be a true Christian. Don't dishonor him with your lips. You're not really being cleansed through God's grace or Hashem's grace. It's said through the blood of Yeshua. So there was a redemption of the seed people and even the spiritual seed grafted in. The branches. I and I Nazarene from all nationalities. Hallelujah. But we look the prophecies are still multidimensional. We look at the flocks of Kadar are gathered to the rams. It says back it up to verse six. A stream of camels come over to your land. The Jomadaries and Median and Epha, all those from Sheba come bearing gold and incense, proclaiming the praises of Hashem. Look at the coronation on a very similar but separate dimension. Look at the coronation of His Imperial Majesty, Karamawi Hale Selassie, Selassie I, the first. Title, King of Kings, receiving that official divine title. That's the one true King of Kings, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. More ambassadors in the Gedi Yehuda, as we say in the Amharic, in the Hebrew. Um, we see the nations bowing down, the other Gentile nations of their enemies, the elite powers. Yes, the elite powers bowing down to him, his majesty, the king of kings, the lion of Judah, fulfillment of prophecy. We know, as we said in the prophet Isaiah, 53, these scriptures, these verses are multidimensional. These prophecies, there's Salika, these prophecies are multidimensional. We have I and I as part of Messiah, that plural content of Yaakov or Jacob. You have the ethnic seed, then you have the spiritual seed grafted in, the sojourners, the righteous sojourners of other nations according to flesh and blood. Jah's merciful. Jah's kingdom, or God's kingdom, is the Hardical kingdom, the Messiah. So don't, don't get puffed up with pride and get caught up in tribalism. You see how Babylon system tries to divide us and separate us through race and religion and politics, so-called Dixiecrat versus Republican. It's like two wings of the same Babylonian bird. When it comes to politics, people keep falling for it with this mind control, with witchery, of the satanic witchcraft and mind control. We know that the other nations bow down before Haile Selassie in his coronation, November 2nd, 1930, in Ethiopia, right there in the heartland of Mother Africa in Ethiopia. They recognize that older dynasty. Even the Freemasons recognize that original Masonic order in which they hijacked the knowledge and had taken the gold of Solomon. Here they are bringing back the gold of Sheba to the king of kings, who is worthy to receive might and power. Hallelujah! Give thanks and praise, you know. So he, God used, and the Most High, Yahweh, or, or Yahweh, or Jehovah, uses ones like Hali Selassie to open the book of the seven seals thereof. This is one of many components. We are one of many components of Yaakov or Jacob, the servant. And then you have the servant, singular, which is Messiah, looking the first, second advent. You see that lineage through the Queen of Sheba and King Solomon of the tribe of Judah, that ethnic tribe of Yehuda, son of David or King David, through, through Judah, that lineage from Makta, Queen of Sheba, through Menelik the first. Menelik the first brought the Ark of the Covenant to Ethiopia from ancient Jerusalem to Ethiopia today. So multidimensional and all of us and connected with the true body of Christ is spiritual Israel in connection with that remnant of, of ethnic Israel 
who repent, not those not those of a certain color or see people that don't repent. They're cut off just like any Gentile because there's no repentance. How do we break that generational curse? As we spoke of in the previous vid. To repent, not just confess. Repentance, Tashuva, cleanse out your sin, cast your cares before the Most High, pray to the Father in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it, your sins be washed away. Because we are being prepared also for that redemption, despite the lures and hardships we go through. Even those as fair skin as I, but we see more of an opposition towards a certain seed of people, the evils of white supremacy and uh, police brutality targeting more of a particular race and see because they know what, if they can try to wipe out, look, if the Satanists, if the real white supremacists and the Satanists and the elite powers wipe out the sea people, then there's no fulfillment of prophecy in that covenant that Hashem or the Most High made with the prophet Abraham through Yitzhak and Yaakov, through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There has to be a remnant for us even to have the... Uh, the anointed ones of the Gentiles, the great number, we're still, a, we're still all, both Jew and Gentile of flesh, as spiritual Israelites and true Christians that we're called to be, according to the Bible, we are still a minute minority in the earth, that mustard seed, and that, that metaphysical kingdom. So there will be redemption for all of us, especially that remnant of the sea people. They will be the kings, once again, to reign upon the earth, in the new heaven upon earth. Even those of us as righteous Gentiles grafted in. And the ones that will go into captivity are the elite powers and actual Satanists. The evils of white supremacy that promoted slavery, that bought the slaves, you know, the Anglo Saxon, you know, high degree, you know, Luciferian, so called Freemason, tending to be Freemasons and Christians, and they were really Luciferians sold their soul to the devil himself, to Satan himself. You know, so they're worshiping false gods and pretending to be Christians, like a, kind of like your Sith, you know, your Sith Lord, like Emperor Palpatine or whatever, Darth Sidious. I know that's crazy Star Wars talk. Now we're doing crazy Star Wars talk to those just tuning in. They can, Brother Spence, it's time for you to stop talking. You're talking about Star Wars, but that's what these Luciferians and actual Satanists do in the flesh, as minions of Satan in the flesh. They pretend to be Christians, they pretend to be so-called politicians and the religious celebrities and puppets. The real Satanic wizards and, and puppet masters are hiding behind a veil using these people, and it's, it works. People are so gullible. They're so quick to look to any so-called resolution in the flesh of these celebrities and politicians to keep the focus on the Most High Jah. So we shall be, we all shall be redeemed. We all go through persecution and spiritual warfare as true Christians and spiritual Israelites and true Muslims and faithful, the types of true faithful Yahudim and faithful Jews and those who strive for peace. Those of us who are true Buddhas of heart, meaning enlightened beings. You know, it says your people in oneness with Messiah and all of them righteous shall inherit the earth forever. That is the new heaven upon earth, the new Sion, the new Zion upon earth of Jah kingdom, a branch, the Nazarene, the branch of my planting, a work of my hands to be adorned. Verse 22, the little shall become a thousand and the small one, a strong nation. I Hashem shall hasten it in this time. That mustard seed so grow to be the greatest amongst all trees. Shalom.